Hey everybody, this is Andy DiGenova from Holy Backcast. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Now, we have started 2016. That's right, it is the year of Batman v Superman. It is coming our way in less than three months. So now that Christmas is over, the holidays are over, and uh, people have seen Star Wars 15, 16, 20, 30 times, uh, we can finally start looking forward to March when Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is going to be hitting theaters and hopefully rocking all of our worlds. Uh, along those lines though, if you follow me on Twitter, which hopefully you do already, you've seen that there are already toys and merchandise hitting stores. They actually hit on January 1st, which pretty awesome. They said that it was going to hit in January. We didn't know when, they didn't waste any time. January 1st, Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, they got all of their Batman v Superman merchandise. Uh, Warner Brothers Shop Online has t-shirts, mugs, you name it, they've got it all. So of course, on New Year's Day, I had to rush out to Toys R Us, pick up some stuff, uh, and so I wanted to share that with you as I open it. So uh, hopefully, you're in the mood to look at some Batman toys. I have, I have a feeling you are. So uh, the first one is already open. I couldn't wait. Uh, so these are the six inch figures, and uh, here's the, the blister card that is already open, like I said. Uh, so I picked up the traditional Batman, but here he is marked as Action Grapnel Batman, but he's just Batman. So I'll show you what that looks like. Again, already opened, uh, but these are the, the less expensive of the figures, these are $10, $9.99. Uh, and so these are the ones that I think that are meant to be purchased for children, to play with um, or 30 something men like myself also to play with so here is uh, here is the Batman that I picked up it's right here I will show it to you hopefully you get a good look at him he does come with his grapnel gun there we go there now you can see it well grapnel gun Actually, a really good sculpt, in my opinion. I'm not an expert on these things. It's my first toy video, so you guys know better than I. Uh, and then it has a, a plastic cape, uh, almost made out, of, just made out of, uh, of plastic, um, but not bad. So this is the the again the 9.99 six-inch figure of grapnel action Batman. But here's the thing about this one: uh, there's no action involved. It, it, this doesn't shoot. It's just a uh, it's just a prop. It's just a weapon. Uh, you don't squeeze his legs and make him punch. It is just a posable figure uh, with and not tons of articulation either. You've got you've got the shoulders, you've got the elbows, uh, you've got the knees, and then you've got the the thighs here. But that's it. Uh, and then the head, the head does turn. But uh, overall, I think he looks he looks great. the The coloring is really good. Looks really good. Uh, had to pick him up, of course. So uh, on this one, they've got all the major characters, plus uh, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. So these are very cool. Again, these are the ones I think meant for the kids to, to bash and me make a mess with, not necessarily for the collector, but for someone like me who was so excited to see the film, I couldn't pass him up. I had to pick him up because again, I think he looks really, really good. I would, I think he looks, aside from the articulation, as good as the one that's more expensive, which you're gonna see in just a second. So um, I, I was actually really happy with it. So there you go, there is Grapnel Action Batman. Uh, I picked him up. The next one I picked up, you're gonna actually have to watch me open, which apparently is a thing on the internet. So this is the multiverse, there we go. The multiverse Batman, traditional Batman. Uh, and so these are the ones that are more for the adult collector, is how they like to say it, um, or just the regular old geeks like us. That's for us. We know it. Uh, and so this is the one right now. There are four that are available. It's Batman, Superman, Armored Batman, and Wonder Woman. And then uh, figures five through eight are to be announced, are coming soon. So you can see that kind of on the back here. Figures five to eight coming soon. So. I believe that will be Lex Luthor, uh, Power Armor or Armored Batman, whatever you want to call him. Probably Aquaman is my guess. And then the eighth one, I have no idea. Maybe Doomsday? Maybe someone we don't know yet? Uh, that's kind of the big question mark is which num what will number eight be? 
I will buy them all because you see if you buy them all you create, you get all the pieces to create Batman's Grapnel Blaster. Uh, and that's pretty badass right there. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get them just so I can, I can build this gun so it can sit on my shelf forever until my grandkids give it away uh, when I pass away. But anyway, let's open up the Multiverse Movie Masters Batman. There we go. comes here a, a bit of a sturdier cape here in the back it's still plastic uh, no cloth capes on any of these but this one is, is definitely a stronger more sturdy material and so here we go we got movie master bat flag right there so uh, let's see if you how, how well there you go so again, the colors look pretty good. The black and the gray, I like it. It's interesting, the belt is, uh, it's, it's got some gold accents, but it's blacker than the other one. Again, which which I think is a little more realistic to the film. They, they seem to pump up the colors a bit on the ones that are for the younger kids. Um, what's interesting here is this hand looks like it was built to hold something. There's little fingers out, but it doesn't come with any weapons. So that's interesting. I don't know. Um, anyway, but this one a lot more, lots more articulation in this one. You've got shoulders. You have, uh, you've got the, the top of the shoulder and then the bottom of the shoulder, and the elbow. You've got the twisted head. You've got a torso. One here. Um, so definitely better quality. For the for the collector here, the the uh, the thing I will mention is a little weird for me. Maybe you don't mind. He looks a little hunched over. Look at this. Yeah, he looks just a little, a little hunched. It's a little weird for me. Um, when you look at him straight on, he looks great. But when you look to the side, he's got a little hunchback thing going. So that's interesting. Anyway, so that's a uh, movie masters, uh, Batman. So, and then the piece he comes with to create the, the grapnel gun, or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's in here pretty well. Uh, it looks like it's part of the base of the gun, or, the, or the, the blaster, not a gun. Batman doesn't use guns, we know this. Uh, it's just like, it looks like a piece of the base. So, I, my mission now, over the next few weeks, uh, is to find the other four to get Armor Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and then, of course, five through eight whenever those do come out, hopefully sooner than later. But as of right now, I have one piece of this, and I've got Batman, who looks awesome, so these are great little desk buddies that'll hang out here. Now, the final one that I'm gonna show you, I, I was pretty reasonable with what I purchased uh, on this first trip. I, I had the Lego Batmobile in my hands, and then I was like, no, I. I got a wedding coming up, I'm saving money, can't, can't buy everything. So I put that back. So I just bought a couple things to start with. So the other ones, I bought a three pack of three action figures. Now this one is controversial because it contains a huge potential spoiler. So I'm warning you right now, if you don't want to be spoiled, number one, we don't know if what's in the toy is in the movie. We don't know. In case it is, and you want to be completely fresh, unspoiled, Turn off the video now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, etc. Holy Batcast. Download the audio podcast. All that good stuff. But if you don't want to be spoiled, jump ship now. I won't blame you. I don't take it personally. It's fine. If you're not afraid of spoilers, then we'll look at the third toy. All right. So the warning is out there. This is your chance to jump ship. Spoiler warning out there. And uh, spoilers are coming in three, two, one. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, here we go. So the last one, I got a three pack. Um, partly because it comes with an exclusive figure I had to get, right? So uh, this is also from the same line as the first Batman we saw, not the movie masters, not the super uh, expensive ones. These are definitely the more made to take a beating for the kids to play with. This is from that line. Um, and so I got this three pack for $24.99. So individually, these figures, 10 bucks. If you get three though, 
with the exclusive one, which you see right here, uh, that is 25. So you save money, in theory. You get them, you get three figures for cheaper than if you were to buy them separately. So this one, I, I had to pick up. It comes with, here we go. Don't say I didn't warn you. Batman. Ah. Batman. Armored Batman, but his helmet is removable. Superman, just kind of standard Superman. And then the big spoiler, or maybe. Lex Luthor in his battle armor, in his battle suit. We've seen it in the comics. We've seen it in the Superpowers cartoon show. We have seen it on t-shirts and everywhere. Um, we've never seen it in a film. It does appear that maybe in the film, Lex Luthor will be wearing his battle suit. And this is our first look at it in the toy. It's not a huge spoiler, because honestly, you walk down the aisle at Toys R Us, you're going to see it. But still, I want to be responsible. So I'm going to open this, we're going to take a look at these, and then I'll send you on your merry way. You go to your Toys R Us and pick one up yourself. I, I cut the little the little tape earlier just to make it quicker. So you're like, wait a minute, he's opening it way too easy. Uh, I prepared. I didn't want you to have to watch too much of me struggling with this stuff. All right, we'll start uh, with Batman because he's the best. And pull him out. Yeah. Oh my God. It's weird the way they've got the capes kind of pulled through the back. So they kind of come out wrinkly. Hopefully, the, once they're out for a bit, they will straighten out. So anyway, here we go. So here we've got Armor Batman. There he is. Hello, Batman. Uh, again, much brighter belt on, uh, on this one because it's made for the kids. The color is a little more colorful. Same kind of uh, cheaper plastic cape, but full-on cape for Armored Batman. And then... Uh, uh, much like the other one, same points of articulation. Uh, shoulders, elbows, knees, and thighs, and then the head. This one, though, uh, they sell an armored Batman separately, but his helmet is part of the sculpt. In this one, you've got traditional Batman head with... There you go. The Batman helmet. So, with these, it's always tricky, because you hope it looks good when you stick it on them. It sometimes does, sometimes doesn't, so we'll find out how it looks, because it's packaged off. So I'll put it, oh, slips on very easily. And there you go. It actually looks really good. I actually like it better like this than the one that, that is sold separately. So it actually looks good with the helmet on. Approved. I like it. So there you go. Armored Batman. Yeah. Do you collect? You will. So we've got him. Superman. All right, again, kind of a bent-up cape. Uh, Superman, there's not much to talk about. It's pretty pretty standard. Superman. Looks good. Looks like Henry Cavill. Nice bright colors for people who say these movies are too dark. There you go. Make you happy. Buy these for those people. Send them to all your Marvel friends. Uh, and go, see, it's it's still blue and red. It's fine. Um, anyway, but uh, yeah, I mean, same same points of articulation. It is It is. It looks very much like the Man of Steel Superman. Nothing... Uh, super drastic but again much like the other one i talked about no action features on any of these these are just uh they're just figures they don't punch or kick or shoot or anything now here's the other one here's the biggie lex luthor and i have to say luthor in in honor of uh of otis and uh my co-host on the podcast jamie drewley he always says luthor so here you go we've got uh, battle armor Lex Luthor now cool feature it's got the Lex Corp logo right in the center I dig that I dig that it is purple and green like the comic books as it should be I like that a lot uh, it has to me it has a very Pacific Rim vibe um, especially because of the helmet the helmet I think makes it feel like Pacific Rim if you were to remove the helmet it would feel a lot more faithful to what we've seen in the comic books and the cartoons, I think, in my opinion. Um, and his helmet is not removable. So the visor comes up. The visor comes up. There we go. And so you can see Lex's face, but uh, but the helmet stays on. Now this one is even less articulated than the other ones. So what's cool is that he's big and, and he feels hefty, but uh, he only moves at the shoulders and that's it. 
shoulders and visor. That's it. Nothing at the waist, nothing at the knees, just the visor and the shoulders. Uh, and then he's got these things here that look like they would shoot. They do not. They're they're just static. But you can, you know, use your imagination. So toys are for imagine the missiles shooting, but they don't actually fire unless they really hid the button well. So there it is. Lex Luthor in his battle armor. Is it going to be in the movie or is it just a toy? That's the question. I have a hunch, if you want my opinion, for what it's worth, nothing. It's going to be in the movie. I think so. I, th I think this doesn't, this doesn't happen unless it's in the movie. I could be wrong. Could just be a toy. You know, we'll see. But I had to buy it because it was exclusive and it came with a three pack. So uh, that is what I picked up for my first batch of Batman v Superman merchandise slash toys. Just toys right now. I need to get some shirts, uh, phone case maybe, coffee mug, because um, what I need is more coffee mugs. My fiance hates how many coffee mugs I have, so I will have to buy a Batman v Superman one just, just to see how much she really loves me. We'll see. Uh, so there you go. We've got uh, the the 999 more durable playable figures. I got Batman, Armor Batman, Superman, and Lex Luthor. And then I did got I got the Movie Masters. Uh, I don't even I don't think they even use the Movie Masters name anymore. I'm just using it old school. It just it's just says DC Comics Multiverse. So the, I'll try and use the right terminology. The DC Comics Multiverse Batman, which is a beautiful figure. I can't wait to get to all of these so they can, again, sit beautifully on my shelf and keep me company while I record videos and podcasts for you friendly people out there in internet land. So thank you for watching this uh, if you're still there. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Go out to your local Toys R Us, your Target, your Walmart, get some Batman v Superman toys. If you find Aquaman or Wonder Woman, tweet me so I can go find it myself. Those are That's my goal right now. I love Batman, I love Superman, but I have never been able to get like a cinematic Aquaman or Wonder Woman. So it's very exciting for me. I've got to do that. So uh, let me know where those are. Give me tips uh, or send them my way. Uh, late Christmas, Valentine's gift, St. Paddy's Day, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. Make sure you do check out the regular podcast, Holy Batcast. You can find that on iTunes, Stitcher, and pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts. Just search in Holy Batcast. Make sure that you do subscribe to this channel because I'll keep trying to do more of this stuff. If, if you enjoy it and you want to see more, uh, we will do more. We've got a Suicide Squad trailer coming up, so I think we'll probably have another one of those trailer reactions that hopefully you enjoyed. Um, we have another episode of the web series in the works, so that'll be coming up. So you don't want to miss that, so please subscribe. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, Holy Batcast, uh, H-O-L-Y-B-A-T-C-A-S-T. As always, I am your host, Andy DiGenova. Thank you so much. Uh, less than three months till Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. It is a wonderful time to be a Batman fan. Let's enjoy the spoils. Thank you all so much. We will see you soon. Same bat time, same bat channel.